Hi, I'm Ifiolua from Ziki People West Africa. A lot of issues have been raised as to how we can connect our devices to ZK about time heat. And in this video, I'll be taking you through simple steps on how you can make uh, and ensure a proper connection between your device and ZK about time heat. Stay with me. You have to um, have a device, of course, and you have to ensure that your device is a push communication device. A push communication device allows interconnection between a device and the system software you, you are going to be using, which in this case is about time heat. So when getting your device, you have to ensure that your device comes with a cloud server settings, which we normally call ADMS. So uh, if you notice your device doesn't have, you have to ensure that you request for an upgrade. So in order to uh, check if your device comes with a cloud server settings, just go to menu. Then from menu, you go to comms. So from comms, you check if it has cloud server settings so as you can see my p160 comes with a cloud server setting so in the cloud server settings you'll be seeing the server mode which is adms um, you'll be seeing the server address you'll be seeing the server port you'll be seeing the uh, proxy server the next step is to ensure that your device is connected to the internet so right now i'm only making a communication between my device and my system as you can see so um, make sure your system is uh, connected as you can see this is the uh, connection icon so, and ensure your system is connected so so from your pc screen uh, you go to open network and sharing center so i'm going to navigate to my open network and sharing center so you click on your net open network then you go to advanced network settings then you click on change adapter options so you see your ethernet connections then you click on your connected ethernet uh, device go to internet protocol then you see use the following ip address obtain dhcp so you select the use the following IP address, then you impute your IP address. So you have to ensure that any IP address you are imputing here goes to the cloud server settings in your ADMS. So this IP address box, you have to impute the IP address in it to your cloud server settings. You set the IP address in the server address part of your server settings. You have to ensure that any address you are imputing here, you have to know that any address you are imputing has to this IP address has to be the same for your server address so uh, so for the port you go to your server controller once you click server you see about time server controllers then you open about time server controller so click yes so you see the HTTP port you see that my port is 80 here so this port is also going to be the same as the uh, port you're going to set on your device so you you have to make sure that they are the same thing so this is just to confirm ensure that the server port here is the same um, number you're going to be setting for uh, the server port on your device so uh, i click on cancel then i refresh uh, then i open my bio time so when you open your power time, you are going to be seen. So uh, mine uh, is already connected, but when you open your power time, you are going to be seeing a yellow icon. So that yellow icon signifies that your device is not connected. So you have to set an area. So let me change. So you can see I changed it back. So this is the state of your of your of your device when you connected. So the next thing you do is you go to personnel, then you click on area and you create a new area. So once you create a new area, 
you create a new area you had area so i've already created some new some areas here so uh, once you create your area then you click on the auto hard then you add your area so once you had your area your device is going to automatically come online so for uh, time attendance yes uh, registration device yes so you click on confirm so your device is up and online so you see the change in state from the blinking yellow to the green so you see the change in uh, states and you can also add your device name so i'm going to put a device name so you add your device name you click ok so as you can see that my device is connected you can see the quantities the fingerprint quantities on my device you can see everything so you have to note that there are three states we have the red we have the green and we have the yellow so the red state shows that your device is not connected at all so to sync your data to your device you go to data transfer you see sync data to device so this will enable uh, interaction between your um, device and the software so they are going to share all these data then you check in personnel employees so once the is done you are going to check your employees and see then you keep refreshing once you refresh you are going to see that uh, there's still a transfer uh, progress happening between the device and the and the software so you keep refreshing till you get an employee uh, drop so um, once this sync is completed although uh, you don't have to wait till um, the sync is completed so you are you are going to see the employee drop either way so that's uh, green arrow is just showing that the device and the software they are still in communication like there's a uh, user upload so you'll be seeing your user data drop so you'll be seeing them so we wait so uh, it, it basically doesn't take uh, much time it's uh, because uh, the reason why it's taking this uh, much time is because the uh, employing quantity is uh, closing to uh, 400 so so let's check you click on employee uh, as you can see the users data have been uploaded successfully and although it is not whole because the device is still uh, in sync with the software but so once that is done you'll be seeing a static um, green state so that's it